Hey guys, this is Crash Course RC doing our first video of the ProBoat React 9 brushed, ready to run, self riding RC boat. This is going to be an unboxing and review video, and let's jump right into the specs. It's 9 inches, runs at about 12.5 miles per hour, it takes a 650 milliamp lithium ion battery, it's a brushed motor, and uh, yeah, let's get into the unboxing. Alright, so pretty standard box here of Pro Boat. You got the boat in the front, you know, you got all spin it around, got all the um, specs back here if you want to check that out. And um, yeah, let's go. in the box just some instructions grab that warranty and box. all right guys so this is what you get right out of the box you've got your manual here and uh, probably some corner so, some sort of warning um, I got this for about $70 uh, for free shipping off of uh, eBay um, I'm sure that's I've looked at a lot of other stores that's about what they run for right now um, so honestly let's just see how how good it is it's like down here you got your standard pro boat USB charger looks like it's got two ports so you can charge at once two at once which is actually very cool um, so a standard pro boat um, pro boat USB I know that the horizon hobby um, 1500 I mean not 1500 150 milliamp Batteries. They only have uh, one yes, one outlet for the battery, so that's pretty neat. That ProBoat has two, just in case if you wanted to get an extra battery. So we got that there, and then looks like we got the battery down here. Standard, standard, uh, 650 milliamp reaction battery, dynamite. If you want to get the exact, exact brand of the battery, uh, looks like we got our. Uh, our stand for the boat. Oh, and we get an extra propeller. It's pretty tiny. So, you know. Let's go ahead and build our stand. Put that aside. It's like they just simply go in like this. Just pop in either side. And just like that. All right, cool. So you can have a place to store it instead of just setting it down and possibly breaking the propeller. All right, next we have our receiver. You know, standard ProBoat receiver right now. It's like, uh, you know, typical ground, ground receiver right here. Got the wheel. Um, yeah, requires, um, I want to say, let's see, four, four AA batteries and, uh, no screws. That, that's neat. You just don't have to worry about a screwdriver for replacing the batteries. All right, next, looks like we're going to try to get this boat out. It just slides out right here. Just pop it out. Now, this is pretty small. Um, I have a ruler here just because... I like to measure mine. So you're looking roughly nine inches, just like that. It's pretty cool. It's very small, so you know if you have a if you live next to a small pond or a small stream, this uh, this would be great. It's self riding, so that's pretty neat. Um, you got your got your rudder right here, your trim tabs, and your propeller. Let's look at the inside real quick. It's like a simple spin lock system, and it does. It it is water cooled, so we got this water spout. So that's the inside right now. You know, you got your uh, ESC ESC right here, and then you got your servo, and your brush motor. It's where the battery pl plugs in, and I guess you just lodge the battery back in here. It's my guess, maybe over this lip, or you just leave it. I'm not really sure. I'll uh. Show you guys tomorrow when I actually drive it. You know, you got your 
motor. All right, and that just slips in right here. You got your little rubber um, water guard. I'd still recommend if you're, you know, you really want to preserve your electron your electronics. If you have some sort of tape, um, I personally use my um, uh, I personally use electrical tape. I've just found that it doesn't peel off the decals, um, and it's just really watertight. All right, there you have it. You got all all the stuff right here, and um, yeah, catch you tomorrow, and uh, we'll actually we'll actually drive this thing. Yeah. Like the attention, girl, I know you, know you. But you're everything I want in life yeah. We're fighting danger like kung fu, kung fu. The love I feel is deep inside The others don't matter, matter. It's honestly us against the world We're the perfect team, team. You're my dream If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the only pain I can endure. And when you're not here. So, all in all, it was a great RC boat. I would totally recommend this to anybody that just wants something to have fun with and not really pay the money to get into the hobby. Um, it handles really well in rapids, as you can see in our video, and especially strong currents. I mean, this thing just shoots up it like there's nothing there. Um, the battery life, I don't know, is roughly, roughly 12 minutes, and that's at like, I don't know, 70 to 80% throttle. Um, we weren't just... Uh, flooring it and doing fast turns like that uh, throughout the entire time we were in the um, creek we were just kind of sometimes doing it full speed sometimes doing it half speed sometimes just coasting and letting the current uh, carry us so that was roughly 12 minutes um, and then to charge that up from a dead state is roughly an hour is what we timed it as and we just had a little wall charger so, you know, roughly an hour from that. Um, the boat itself is going to need some trimming out of the box. It's not really a con, but, I mean, it's just something that everyone needs to know, just like a lot of other boat products. And um, what's great about the controller is that when it's at low, low battery, it actually starts to beep so that it'll let you know that, hey, it's time to come on in or else you're going to have to go swim in for your boat. Um, I only have one con, and that is if you flip it over, you, it's going to take some time to, and you know, you're going to have to play with it a little bit to get it right side up. Um, what I found is the best way would probably be to flare the throttle and turn the rudder left and right uh, really quickly until you start to rock back and forth, and then at that point, um, the momentum, you just keep on doing that and the momentum should carry the boat right side up and, um, catch you in our next video.